Our top story tonight, a puppy chained to a tree and left to die. Tonight, police want to know who would commit such a heartless crime. The images and details are hard to stomach, but tonight, Niagara Falls police hope it will spur somebody to speak up and help solve this crime. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Elzevan is working the story tonight. Very emotional. Holly Forey can't believe what police found in the backyard just next door on Monday. A boxer pit bull mix dead chained to a tree. My dog usually barks and tells us that people are back here, but nobody knows. The female puppy was between one and one and a half years old. Police say an anonymous caller led them to 1657 Linwood Avenue. The grass in the, the, in the backyard was overgrown to obstruct anyone's view, so someone obviously intentionally did this. Whoever left the dog to die faces a felony charge of animal cruelty, but so far there's no leads. Police say there isn't even a homeowner to ask about what happened to the dog or whose it might be. As you can see by this wood paneling, the house is vacant. The pictures are so tough to look at. We've blurred out the emaciated animal, but you can clearly see the leash attached to the dog and wrapped around a tree. The police report says the dog, quote, had no free movement and that she was, quote, left there to die. Police believe the puppy died about one week ago. Investigators want the public to take note. The boxer mix was brown, had a choker chain collar and a black retractable leash. It's unknown how long the animal was there, but it usually takes weeks for a dog to starve to death. Whoever did it, go to the police and say that you did it. In Niagara Falls, Rachel Elzevan, 7 Eyewitness News.